Welcome back. I am here with Colonel Dan Finnegan, the 158th Maintenance Group Commander. We're in Hangar 3, which is the main maintenance hangar for our F-35s, which will be here shortly. Uh, sir, welcome to Between Two Frames. Thank you. Happy to be here. <laughs> um, so tell me, what's it like? Uh, there's a lot going on. Can you, can you give me a maintenance 101? Absolutely. There's a ton going on. What we're looking at right now is really the culmination of about five years of planning that is come from the wing, it's come from the PIO, it's come from NGB, it's come from the Air Force at large, and it's all coming together seemingly in a fairly short period of time. So that's what you're seeing here, really. It's, it's kind of the facilities, the training, and the aircraft. So the facilities are just barely starting to get online, uh, so we're starting to move into those even as we speak. There's people in the back rooms looking at them right now. Um, from a training perspective, I mean, they, I could go into a, a lot of detail on that, but what we're trying to get to right here is just a baseline capability uh, of F-35 maintenance so that we can support the first jet arrival. So we're seeing quite a few things come together to include the training over in operations with a number of uh, five, I think, pilots right now and about 27 or so uh, fully qualified F-35 maintainers that are with us right now and upwards of 96 who have had some initial training in the F-35 and are moving towards those, those higher levels of, of capability. So we're getting ready to go into FTT, which is going to start here uh, in another week. And what uh, is FTT? FTT is a field training team. So the foundation of you know, our maintenance training has really been multi-layers. So we started four years or so ago with EAD. Um, which is extended active duty tour. So we sent about 37 airmen out uh, to the active duty to spend three to four years uh, just working with the F-35. So they were at Luke, they were at Hill, they were at Eglin, um, and they were really getting their hands dirty with exactly what it takes to keep the F-35 running. Uh, and those people are now coming back to us. But the real core of what the Guard is about is our, is our part-timers. And that FTT that's gonna be coming here is really a way to do things more effectively and more efficiently. So the Air Force, instead of taking 200 drill status guardsmen and moving them to these various schools and paying the TDY costs, we're taking 11 or 12 of the Air Force's best instructors, bringing them here and letting them teach our DSG airmen who know have to go TDY. They can go home at night, they can show up, learn, the foundation of what it is that they're going to be doing to maintain the F-35 um, over the course of, of the next two to three months. So it's really uh, an efficient and effective way to get training for our DSGs and, and we're proud of that fact. So one question, um, I know operations for the F-16 went from on base, then we went over to VTANG West and now we're back. What's, what's it feel like for the airmen in your areas um, in terms of ready to see uh, you know, flying operations happen again. Oh, here. they're absolutely ready. It's almost like, I mean, I, I know you like horses. It's almost like having a thoroughbred in the stable, right? And you're just waiting to open the door. Um, I mean, we had a, a highly uh, involved ops tempo, if you will, with the F-16, as you know, with the 15 deployment and the 17 deployment thereafter, and then moving right into F-35 uh, conversion. I mean, the train was moving, but then as we started getting rid of airplanes, things, you know, started to taper down. So we've had six months with no flying operations, um, and that's really what the maintenance group is about. I mean, we're about generating sorties and, and maintaining a healthy fleet, you know, and we haven't been able to do that for the last six months. So we've spent that time out in the community trying to help the wing with some of its efforts, and. We've also you know, been focusing in on, on the training to get ready for the F-35, making sure the facilities are ready. So we haven't wasted that time, but we're ready to refocus it, and we're gonna refocus it on the F-35 here in about one week. Well, that sounds great. Is there anything else you wanna tell us about maintenance and uh, transitioning to the F-35? No, I guess what I would add on to what we were talking about previous, as far as the shops that are changing and the manpower that's moving around, I mean, the. The total numbers are really similar, but when I talk about those AFSCs moving, one of the things that we're really proud of is the experience that this unit has. So the people that we have here are still going to retain a, a lot of maintenance experience. We, we have people who have spent their entire lives 
dedicated to what it is that the VTANG does. So just because we're moving into a new airplane and it's fifth gen and it is LO and there are some differences between the two, that strength that we had in the F-16 is absolutely going to carry forward into the F-35, um, which is one of the reasons why I'm so confident and I'm so ready for this platform to be here because I know we're going to crush it. Awesome. Well, Colonel Finnegan, thank you for taking time out of a very busy schedule. Uh, really looking forward to seeing what it's going to look like when we have a couple F-35s in this hangar yeah, very soon. So am I. <laughs> so uh, thanks again for joining us on Between Two Frames. Great. Thank you. Thanks. That's it for Between Two Frames. We'll catch you next time.